I mean, before I got drafted, I used to love him. Um, I went for Essendon, but I used to love, you know, watching Gary Ablett at Geelong, and he was the king of Geelong, I think. And um, you know, playing on him since then has been—it's been a privilege, to be honest. He's, you know, I think he's the, you know, probably the best ever. Um, so super hard to play on. Just kicks, kicks goals from 60, kicks goals from anywhere from the boundary line. He's, um, he's, 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 you know, he's been a super player. Oh, he's a freak. He's just been the best player that I've seen play the game. Um, in my, short, like in my short life, I'm only 27 years old, but from when I can remember as a young kid, I don't remember a lot as a young kid, but um, obviously his father was a great player, but before I was drafted, he was you know, sort of emerging as that great player. And you know, when I got into the system, he became that great player. And he's, I think injuries have crawled him a little bit over the last couple of years, but uh, before that, he was, there was a real gap between him and the rest of the competition. So yeah, he's a, he's a freak. Oh, he's been a superstar of the game for, for many years now and uh, I remember watching him when I was you know, a bit younger and uh, when he first started at Geelong and um, he brings people to the game. Uh, they're the type of players that uh, you know, put bums on seats and, and he's certainly one of those and just the way he goes about his footy, he's in close, he's, you can't tackle him, uh, he just reads the play better than anyone else and it's exciting to watch. I think he's been the greatest um, or one of the greatest uh, players in the modern era. Uh, takes after his old man, obviously, and um, the things he can do on a football field is unrivaled. Uh, as I know as opponent player, he, he causes a few headaches in the coach's box as well as in an opposition player's mind um, with what he can do, and um, he's dangerous at any part of the ground as well. So, congratulations, Gazza, on your on your 300th. Oh, he's given. I mean, the family in itself has given so much to the game of football, but you know, the kid had so much pressure on him coming through to, to perform as you know half as well as your dad, but. Uh, He's actually getting challenged against his dad as who's the better player, and that's a you know huge pat on the back in itself. But to to play with him and to, and to you know watch him now and get the best out of himself, and you know he was always about bringing other people into the game, and and that's what I can always remember of Gaz, and that's what I learnt off him and wanted to you know now do to my teammates. And he was a super teammate, uh, he's a super guy, and I just wish him all the best.